Shops across Canada. You're watching the Weather Network, covering weather and environmental issues 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exclusively on cable. Welcome to the Weather Network. I'm Frank Caballero here this hour with Gary Ryan. Over the next 15 minutes, we'll provide detailed local, regional, and national forecasts. But first, the Canadian Wheat Board is facing its most unusual year in more than 100 years. Early frost and snow have left at least 60% of this year's crop as feed grade, suitable mainly for livestock. Last year, only 1% of the crop was sold as feed. The volume of low-quality wheat, 10 million tons, is so large it's clogging up grain transportation systems as it waits to be sold. Feed grade wheat sells for $24 a ton, less than premium grade, which can fetch up to $112 a ton. Now with a look at the weather systems affecting the country over the next 12 hours, here's Gary Ryan. Thank you very much, Frank Cavallaro. Let us begin with a look at our uh, situation that's continuing to develop along the eastern seaboard where the jet stream is seeing a little bit cooler, but uh, we're told that conditions are fairly normal for this time of the year. Normal slightly below, pretty well in uh, most areas of the country, as a matter of fact. And uh, here's a look at that sitting, settling down somewhat. Let's take a look out west, however, where once again we are continuing to see a little bit of a milder weather pattern and that westerly flow. We have that wind warning, which is continuing in effect for the uh, Calgary and Lethbridge regions. Let's take a closer look now at the situation across the country. Uh, we'll move through this uh, map and see if we can get uh, a look at uh, some of the conditions on a more uh, North American scale for you. We uh, begin to uh, tell you about the situation here with regard to this long cold front. As it continues to spread across, it's going to provide uh, scattered flurry activity, some light snowfall activity, nothing more than that really. And then we have this high pressure system right behind it, which is going to start to dominate the forecast. Next system building in from the north, warm front building in and behind that. Across the west and east sectors, we're looking at the potential of about one to three centimeters of snow there. And then further to the west, we could start to see some again into the foothills where we get that westerly flow at the moment. Along the BC coastal area, we have uh, variable conditions expected to continue. Let's take a look. Here we have that uh, picture now. There's a precipitation map showing where uh, most of it is. Same situation along the eastern areas, and we have been mentioning that wind warning, which is in effect. Here's a good look at it. There it is, basically western Calgary region, including the city of Calgary, and also the western Lethbridge region, 60 to 80 kilometer an hour, some gusts higher, and that is going to stay in effect to 4 p.m. your time. Current temperatures, a little bit milder down in the east. Seasonal values, cooler in the west, and then get uh, milder again for the extreme west. Tonight, very little change in our jet stream, maybe building in toward the Great Lakes a little bit. A look at our systems for tonight shows that flurry activity moving through the next system approaching, and here's a look at your low temperatures. <laughs> This local report includes the conditions observed in the area during the past hour. It also includes your local forecast, both short and long range. If you're traveling, we've got forecasts for major destination cities in seven minutes' time. Twenty minutes from now, you'll find highway conditions for your region right here on the Weather Network. 